so this is going to be a quick um, video on the start function. So let's go ahead and click on the example for the start function. This would be lesson 2.3. And we're going to click on the example together if you want to do this with me. And we're just going to go over some of the important things, important main things about the start function. So from here on out, for, for this lesson and for the rest of the lessons that you do with Programming with Carol, you're going to start your code with the start function. So you want to get in the habit of just doing function start to begin each to begin each activity. Um, you also want to remember that you don't have to call the start function. All you have to do is um, write it here. You don't have to write it again. You have to write it twice. You don't have to call it throughout. And remember, in the video um, prior to this, we talked about defining functions and calling functions. So right now we're just defining start. We don't have to ever call it. And the start function's main purpose is to order the commands and order the code for Carol to follow. So it's just telling Carol where to begin. Um, and then I also want you to notice this one last thing about the start function is that you don't put in the other defined function. So if we see here, function turn right, notice that it's not inside the curly brackets of the start function, but turn right the called function is inside the start function. So keep that in mind. You don't have to put your other functions inside the start function. Okay, they are not inside the curly brackets of the start function. So take note of that. So remember these three things. Always begin each lesson with the start function. Um, you do not have to call it, just define it at the top. And do not include your other functions inside the curly brackets of your start function. So notice those three things. Cool, cool.